a bunch of secrets because today we're gonna be watching a brand new video uploaded by the game developers themselves about 10 of the craziest secrets they never told anyone brand new poppy playtime characters deleted scenes and even secret rooms in the game that nobody's ever seen this video is gonna be so crazy you gotta watch this nuggies are you ready Ten Lost Secrets from Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Oh, I'm so excited, family. This is going to be so crazy. The people who made Poppy Playtime are about to tell us all the secrets about the game. Look, there's Poppy. Ten Lost Secrets in Poppy Playtime. Number 1. Chapter 2's Alternate Opening Poppy Playtime fans will remember that Chapter 2 opens with us exploring Elliot Ludwig's office and eventually finding this. Poppy in a hidden room below. But Chapter 2 didn't always start this way. In a now deleted opening of the chapter, what? after freeing Poppy from her case, you wake up and are immediately greeted by the sight of Poppy peeking out behind a door. Oh, look family, this is a brand new room! We never saw this in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2! This is unreleased footage! And look over there! An unreleased Poppy! Be. The sequence continues with you following Poppy as she slinks throughout various hallways. Following Poppy then led you back outside to where Huggy Wuggy fell in Chapter 1. What followed Whoa, this was a 10 minute parkour sequence down the catwalks and conveyor belts from Chapter 1. Parkour? Eventually leading to a power puzzle that activated an elevator, taking you down to the game station to meet your new foe, Mommy Longlegs. <gasps> That place you just saw was supposed to be in Poppy Playtime, but they ended up removing it. Now, you're probably wondering why this never ended up in the game. Yes! There are a few reasons this alternate intro was abandoned. The first reason was chasing Poppy was just turning out too funny. The sequence went through three major iterations, starting with you straight up chasing Poppy to follow her. <laughs> Poppy with her little one-inch legs running away from you. Kind of looks like a little wiener dog trying to catch his tail. And spoiler alert, Poppy, it's never gonna work. Family, comment down below. That's the secret word of today's video. And me and Baby Nuggie will hurt your comments. Starting with you straight up chasing Poppy to follow her, but that just ended up being way too funny. Version 2 was Poppy peeking out behind doorways and walls, but that was almost even funnier. Hey, In the Poppy. last version, you see Poppy's shadow moving across the floor and walls. Whoa. This version was definitely the creepiest iteration, and it's the one we ended up sticking with for quite a long time. But in the end, it was abandoned for just feeling a little too cheesy. Family, those three versions of Poppy that we just saw were never in the game. The second reason was simple. It was too long. You went through a 10 minute parkour sequence and a wild goose chase without really learning or seeing anything interesting. Wait, did he just say wild goose? Since when does all pull a bird inside of Poppy playtime? Seriously, girl. Go home! Which leads us to the final reason for the scene's abandonment. Mommy Longlegs had no mention or buildup. To fix these shortcomings, we completely redid the intro sequence. Where's Mommy? We first added Elliot Ludwig's office to the sequence, so you had an interesting location to explore. We then changed following Poppy to Poppy talking to you to make her a relatable character instead of just a cheesy horror doll that you follow around. That's the one we then saw! Then we added a scene forcing you to watch Poppy be kidnapped before your eyes to build up the threat of Mommy Longlegs. And finally, we had you jump down a slide rather than jump down catwalks for 10 minutes. Oh, that first secret was so cool, family! Now we're about to hear the second one! Alternate intro scene! Mommy's intro scene was one of the hardest things to get right in Chapter 2. Oh, the it's scene so spooky. Went multiple versions of dialogue and pacing. These alternate versions, while relatively similar to the final, had a few key differences. Here's the first alternate version. Wait, what? <gasps> Why? Oh my. Hello down there. <laughs> this girl's hanging from the ceiling. She thinks she's in a circus. Hello down there. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. Company always tells mommy when guests are on their way down. Didn't this time? Uh, no, Poppy, we're not on our way down. I think you are because you are slipping from that string. Always tells mommy. Shh, you're okay now. Mommy will take care of you. No, no, I don't want mommy that. She wants to take you somewhere special. What? Where's she gonna take us? To get lost down here. Some have lost their way and never found it again. Ooh, what she mean? Mommy won't let that happen to you. Family, this is so crazy. This is words we never heard Mommy Longlegs say. She's telling us secrets that we never saw in the game. So yeah, in this version of the scene, there were a few key elements missing from a storytelling standpoint. One, Mommy's introduction to the story didn't influence anything about your current objective. Two, the player had no reason to feel threatened by Mommy Longlegs because she had no prior buildup 
at the time. So we address some of these issues in version 2. Oh! Why, oh <gasps> my! Hello, darling. There she is again! I think you love this. Do you want it back? Hmm, of course not. Though mommy assumes this is something you want- Mommy has Poppy again! Finding you two down here was surprising. <laughs> Always tells mommy when guests are on their way down. Is this creepier than the original? Didn't this time... Always tells mommy. So this version addressed one of the big issues. Mommy now kidnaps Poppy to give the player a motive to play mommy's games. But then we realize something. What? The player doesn't even need Poppy. Who cares if she's kidnapped? So mommy showing up still didn't affect your current objective. So here's what we did to solve it. We had Poppy be the only one who knows the train code, so now you need her to escape. We also added that scene where mommy comes out of nowhere and pulls Poppy down into the abyss. Mm. Problem solved. Now mommy steals your only way of escape, and watching mommy kidnap Poppy makes her introduction all the more threatening. Oh, uh, since we need Poppy to escape, that's why it was so sad that mommy stole her. Because Poppy's pretty cute. Number three, the game station's lost designs. <gasps> Fans will remember that the game station features a giant mural of Mommy Longlegs, a playground for the kids, we and saw entrances this. to the station's three main yeah, games. So but cool. it didn't used to be this way. The original design of the game station was absolutely massive. Whoa! It featured a mural on the roof with a giant sun and moon illuminating the station. Although it looked jaw dropping, uh -huh. jaw is definitely dropped. There were two major issues. It was unrealistically big and was completely empty. It didn't seem like it could have been a real functioning location for kids. The second version featured a new design there. for the sun and moon, and a lot more color in the room to make it more inviting for the kids who'd visit. However, it was still completely empty. So we went back to the drawing board, keeping in mind what a place like the game station would need to be a fully functional and realistic location. In the end, what? What about we shrunk the, the room, two? added a big playground for the kids to play in while they waited for their turn in the games, added structural supports for realism, catwalks for Playtime Co. employees to observe the things going on, and of course, added some classic Playtime Co. style branding. Oh, obviously they had to make the train station into a playground. That makes a lot of sense. Number four, Musical Memories Lost Design. Musical Memory four. used to have a much different aesthetic than it currently does. In the oh, original version, this game? the walls were completely covered in TV screens of various sizes that would display the name of the button that you're supposed to press. This the is where we saw buttons, though. during the game used to be suspended by big mechanical arms. Whoa. The reason this design was abandoned was fairly straightforward. The aesthetic was too high-tech looking for Playtime Co. What? An array of TVs and mechanical arms made the room feel closer to a spaceship than a toy factory. <laughs> Blast off to Planet Poppy Playtime! Where we see planets shaped like bunnies! And the moon that looks like a fuzzy caterpillar! What the chicken nugget is going on? On top of that, we also decided that we wanted to include an area where Mommy Longlegs could watch you play. And that just wasn't going to work in a curved room with a bunch of TVs. Oh right, so Mommy can always watch over us. Remember, family, Mommy Longlegs is always watching. Number five, five, Cassie Cutie Pillar. Some of you may actually be aware of this one. Cassie Cutie Pillar was the original character that was going to be chasing you throughout the statues game. <laughs> so cute, Cassie! Family, this is a brand new monster that was unreleased in Poppy Playtime! Instead of PJ Punk Pillar, we were supposed to get Cassie Cutie Pillar! It was a giant caterpillar with a pink snout, beady eyes, and two antenna. Cassie actually appeared in the official Chapter 2 trailer before she was scrapped. Though Cassie was cute, we felt we had the opportunity to make the character more unique by creating an unholy combination of two different animals. So we went back to the drawing board. We spent a long time picking the right face for this new character, something that didn't feel too goofy for the statue section of the game. <laughs> Eventually, we settled on the design that would become PJ Pugabee. Yep. This was one of the later changes we made to Chapter 2, as we had already made a completely finished model of Cassie complete with first simulation and realistic eyeballs, <laughs> as well as various art of Cassie throughout the game having to be swapped with the new PJ art. Oh, I mean, they still do look pretty similar. One is a caterpillar head, and the other is half caterpillar, half dog. Or should I say pug? Number six, Daisy six. the flower and seven other characters. Six this is probably the most well-known one on the list. 
Very similar to Cassie Cutie Pillow, Daisy was the original character that was going to be lowering towards you during the musical memory game. Oh, instead of Bunzo Bunny? Because remember, family, Bunzo Bunny was the one who was hanging down from the game, clapping his cymbals. But apparently, instead of Bunzo, it was supposed to be Daisy. Why? She was a flower marionette suspended on strings with a very unsettling face. Like Cassie, Daisy also appeared briefly in the trailer for Chapter 2. Daisy yeah. was abandoned because we wanted a character with more theming and a way to alert the player that death was getting closer and closer. And this is where things got difficult. We went through seven completely different character concepts for the musical memory toy. Seven? A monkey, a clown, a fox, a princess, a bluebird, another bird, a ballerina, a ballerina bird, and finally, a bunny. <laughs> a ballerina bird? A ballerina half bird? Just like PJ Punkapillar was half half. We liked Bunzo! the bunny because he had great theming with his symbols and clothes, as well as his symbols serving as a great audio tool as you hear him descending upon you in musical memory. After a few slight design tweaks and color variations, we finally got the Bunzo bunny we all know today. Daisy the flower wasn't completely absent from chapter 2, however, as we see various art and posters of her throughout the game, as well as a full cardboard cutout with voice lines from Daisy. We didn't see Daisy in chapter two. She got replaced with Bunzo Bunny. <laughs> Sorry, Daisy. Number seven, Mommy Longlegs alternate designs. Mommy Longlegs went through dozens of designs before she became the noodly pink maniac we all know today. Really? Two of these scrap designs actually show up in chapter two as old blueprints for Mommy Longlegs. Her oh. first design was a noodly plush doll with button eyes. Ah, she cute, looks like a zombie! That was the problem. The design wasn't eerie enough. A few other things on top of that was she looked too young for her name to be Mommy, she didn't have enough resemblance to a spider for her long legs pun to make sense, and we wanted to try making her a plastic toy to make her feel more unique from Huggy Wuggy. For the next designs, we really tried to push the spider look, as well as make her appearance a bit more creepy. I don't like that one. She did look like a spider now, but too much so, to the point where we didn't think it would be realistic for Playtime Co. to create a toy like her. Another issue was this design didn't necessarily look like a toy at first glance either. No. The next designs really tried to push the creep factor in the face. It looks like an alien. Back a bit on the spider elements. This design pass is also where we came up with the idea of mommy having limbs that could stretch. <laughs> <laughs> this version looks like a chewed up piece of bubble gum. Or maybe some snot flavored slime. Originally, her limbs were going to extend in the form of plastic tubes, similar to the way a lightsaber toy might extend. This design was scrapped because of the challenge of making her limbs bend while also being made of extending plastic tubes. The variation of colors also made her design feel too sporadic and complex. To solve these problems, we came up with the concept of elastic plastic, a substance that Playtime Co. created that can stretch like rubber but also retain its shape and position. We also oh, simplified mommy. her color pattern and gave her a spherical waist similar to a spider's abdomen. We concepted a few alternate designs after this one with more spider-like features, however, the problem from before still persisted that it was too spider-like and creepy for Playtime Co. to have realistically made. Right. Number 8. The Six Lost Toys From the beginning of Chapter 2, we knew we wanted to have new toys present in each of the games in the game station. These became Bunzo Bunny, the Mini Huggies, and PJ Pugapillar. But before those were made, we had six different potential characters created to fill these roles. Jolly wow. Clown, who went through a few design iterations. Lovebug, who actually appears in Chapter 2 as a rejected toy. <gasps> Psydog, a robot dog toy. Sunny wow. Buddy, who also appears as a rejected toy. Lily the Frog, a frog on roller skates. And Monster Truck. That one kind of speaks for itself. Wait, wait, those were all unreleased monsters that never got made. Number nine, the quality control room and the production room. In chapter two, before entering musical memory, we take a detour to the molding room where you create the green electric can. In the early that. version of the chapter, every game you go to was going to be paired with a factory room similar to the molding room. Wackawuggy had the production room and statues had the quality control room. These rooms were never implemented into the game and were scrapped during the concept phase because they just seemed like unnecessary filler. Oh. They made extra stuff in the rooms that we never saw. Number 10, Mommy Longlegs Death Scene. Oh, One no. of Chapter 2's most infamous moments is the death of Mommy Longlegs. That's After minutes scene. of running away from Mommy, you're backed into a corner with no way out. But just as all hope seems lost, you pull down a lever that activates a grinder. Mommy's arm is pulled into the grinder and she desperately tries to escape, screaming Ow. for her life as she's slowly crushed to death. Now, you wouldn't think it, but there was actually quite a bit of debate behind the scenes about how Mommy should be pulled into the grinder. In the alternate version of Mommy's death, her head is actually pulled inside and grinded to a pulp. 
leaving her lifeless lower half to fall onto the floor. Head first? Ow! Leaving her lifeless lower half to fall onto the floor. Here Ow. it is. This is how she was supposed to get crushed! The original version! This is the secret version, family! We decided to scrap this version for two reasons. One, the imagery of Mommy's upper half being dragged away would be more resonant than her lower half being dragged away. And two, Mommy's head being grinded up might have just been too gruesome to show without the game getting an M rating. Uh, yeah, you think? Crushing up somebody's whole head in the grinder? Um, that's not creepy at all, right? Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, I'm wrong! Luckily, in the real version, Mommy Longleg's body got took away from the prototype instead. Family, those were the 10 craziest secrets about Poppy Playtime. Smash like if you thought they were awesome. Don't forget to get Baby Nuggie, Saucy Nuggie, and Dippy Nuggie available right now at shopalexia.com. Me and Baby Nuggie love you so much. I will see you all in tomorrow's video.